Today on Axe Hacks, we're going to be reviewing the Mission Engineering Delta III Tri-Stage Distortion Pedal. So I've got the Mission Engineering pedal in my hands right now, and this thing looks fabulous. Um, the first thing I notice about the pedal is it's got, it's got a brushed aluminum case to it, and it's really smooth. All the sides look uh, good, nothing is sharp. Um, the next thing I notice is also we've got our input and output jacks right on top, and this is good because it allows us to save space on our pedal board, along with our power supply being up here, so you can do a whole row of pedals together across the top instead of eating up all your side space. Um, the Knobs on this pedal are actually made out of aluminum, which is a really great thing because they can take the hits and this is near your feet. So you don't want your pedal to be getting all broken. All you gotta do is just tighten up the knobs and they're ready to go again. Um, the switch right here is also a digital switch. So it's really easy to turn on and off. You don't hear that clicking sound for like a physical analog switch works. Um, yeah, and so we've got four knobs on this pedal and which give it a pretty good uh, range of functions. It's got a low cut, a gain, a level, and a high cut. And I'm gonna let Chris talk to you about uh, some of the special details of this pedal. Yeah, so as the name states, this is a tri-stage distortion pedal. Uh, from what I understand in emailing uh, James at Mission, what the tri-stage refers to is that rather than being a distortion pedal that's based on diode clipping, it's actually based on uh, transistor clipping. Uh, this particular pedal incorporates three Fairchild transistors and uh, the higher the gain knob is turned up, the more transistors are incorporated into the gain structure. Um, when I asked him whether or not it incorporated uh, symmetrical or asymmetrical clipping, uh, since it is using multiple transistors, it's basically going to go in and out between symmetrical and asymmetrical as the knob is turned up. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of unique for a pedal. Um, beyond that, the low cut um, <clears throat> kind of acts it acts as a low cut from the zero to noon positions, and then beyond that, it sort of acts as a bass boost, which is sort of cool. Uh, very good for when you get into the fuzz te territory with this pedal. Uh, and then the, the high cut uh, is fairly subtle. Um, you're mostly going to notice the difference with this knob uh, when the pedal is using its own distortion um, rather than, say, boosting an already distorted amp. Um, and what this is going to do is take some of that fizziness out of uh, kind of the, the higher, high mid area that is sort of, you know, it kind of starts to happen as a byproduct of a fuzz tone, but it's not necessarily desirable. So, uh, yeah, they figured out a way to pull that frequency down uh, so you really only have the sound that you want. So we'll go into a demo of this and we will see you afterwards.
Cool. Um, what I really liked about the pedal uh, for me uh, is that for a lot of drive pedals, I find that they d they lack sustain until they have like a lot of gain, mm -hmm. and I felt like this pedal like did a really good job at having sustain and distortion at like a very balanced level. Like sometimes again, to get a more comfortable guitar sound, I'm like, oh, I'm turning up the gain, and then at that point, I'm just like, oh, this isn't really good tone anymore. This is just I'm just doing this for comfort, like to get the like spongy more vintage, sustainful feel. So I think it does a really good job on that. And I really like how when you're turning the gain knob up, like you're kind of hearing the character of the distortion starting to change. Like it goes from like, almost like a very smooth focus kind of sound. And as you get higher, you're like, how is it starting to just get uncontrollable? And yeah. almost kind of like irregular, like very like loud amp in the room, can't really control it 100% fuzzy. Wow. So that's cool. And I think that, um, it has a good overlap between a fuzz pedal and, and an overdrive pedal. Like there's an overlap that like you could kind of get both out of this one pedal in the studio, especially. For sure. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> basically all the tones that uh, we went through just now, um, they were kind of the four presets uh, that Mission includes with uh, the little instruction manual that comes with the pedal. And then after that, I just sort of went through the range of each control and uh, also kind of dialed in the sweet spot of the pedal, which uh, is, I wouldn't say that it's like an over-the-top fuzz. It's kind of in between a, a good articulate distortion and a, a fuzz pedal. And also, um, everything that you heard was being sent through a Kemper profiling amp uh, on a Fender Deluxe, Fender Deluxe profile. Uh, so naturally a very uh, clean, very neutral amp all the distortion you heard was coming from uh, the Delta 3 itself. So yeah, that's the Delta 3. For more info on this, check out missionengineering.com and you've been watching Axe Hacks. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.